Hey everyone, it's Julie from Sprouts and Stems. Today I'm going to give you a tour of my plants, plus we'll be doing some plant care along the way. Now I actually don't keep too many plants at a time compared to some other houseplant enthusiasts, and that's just because I have to keep things at a manageable level for myself in order for me to enjoy it. The first plant on my windowsill here is this little philodendron micans, or micans, however you say it. I've been fertilizing it regularly this spring and it's been growing like crazy. I'll, I'll show you the fertilizer I use later on, by the way. And I'll also be putting the links in the description to all the plants and supplies featured today. And by the way, sorry it's so dark, it's a little cloudy today. Over here I have a beautiful string of pearls plant I bought about a month ago. It's so full and has lots of new growth so it seems to be pretty happy, which I'm happy about myself. <laughs> and it's looking a little dry so I'll be watering it later on in the video. Okay, and next to the string of pearls is a succulent that was given to me by a family member. I haven't been great with succulents in the past, but so far so good with this one despite it being a little bit leggy, but that doesn't really bother me so much. Over here I have three beautiful pink syngoniums that I plan to pot up all together in one big pot with a moss pole. This color is so gorgeous. It reminds me of cotton candy or strawberry ice cream and it just makes me so happy to look at. Now I have noticed some fungus gnats hanging around these guys, so I'm going to water in some bonide systemic insect control today. And I know it looks like I'm kind of aggressively shaking it in there. I've just done this a lot, so I'm eyeballing it right now, but I definitely recommend following the instructions that they give you for each specific pot size. Here is a shot of my IKEA greenhouse cabinet as well as my Monstera adansonii or Swiss cheese plant and then also my satin pothos below that. And don't worry, I'll be going in closer to the greenhouse cabinet later on in the video, but I just wanted to show you my setup. It looks a little bare in there, that's just because I keep it as more of like an incubator or like rehab for certain plants that that could use the extra humidity and also cuttings as well. Mm -hmm. 
And here on the other side of the living area is just a little bookshelf I have. I plan to put some cuttings on it that I'm propagating eventually when they're ready to be potted up. And that's just a little mini terrarium I made. And I actually did a tutorial on that for, I believe it was my most recent video before this one. So check that out if you're interested in learning how to make a moss terrarium. You can barely see inside because it's so humid, but that's a good thing. That means the mini ecosystem is doing its thing in there. And here I'm just doing a little bit of maintenance and watering of my Monstera. And it definitely looks like here that I'm yanking this yellow leaf off the vine, <laughs> but I am just gently but firmly pulling it. I just had to do it with one hand because I was filming it with the other hand. So yeah, don't, don't yank leaves off your plants. Just gently but firmly pull. <laughs> and moving back to my little plant corner area, I have my Ripple Peperomia, and this is definitely one of my current favorites. I try not to play favorites, but I still end up doing that. <laughs> it's just so beautiful, and the way the leaves shimmer almost in the light is just, it's just so beautiful. So I really like this one. I have it in a little pedestal type thing that I got from an antique store. And this one, you can't really see it too much on the video, but up close it's looking a little bit droopy and dry, so I'm gonna water this one too. Here I have my little begonia maculata. It was kind of hating me <laughs> for a little bit. It lost a leaf not too long ago, which I know isn't a big deal to lose a leaf, but when there's already so few leaves on a plant, it's frustrating to lose a leaf. But anyway, I just saw the other day that it's starting to put out a new leaf on top, so it looks like we're heading in the right direction. Right next to the begonia, I have a philodendron Brazil, and it's looking very full and nice and beautiful. Probably needs to be watered soon, but not today. On the table underneath that, I have my crocodile fern that's planted in a kokedama, and I also have a tutorial on how to make one of those on my channel if you're interested, so check that out as well. And, and also next to that, I have a string of hearts, which you'll see later on in the video, and I think I forgot to film this, but you can kind of see it behind the crocodile fern on the back wall is another small philodendron Brazil on a moss pole. and. That one has actually reverted a lot, but I still think it's beautiful. Here's a shot of my satin pothos, and she was recently watered, so she doesn't need water today, and she's looking very perky and beautiful. Here we have a Hoya Carnosa Compacta that's looking very yellowish. <laughs> I'm, guys, I'm bad with Hoyas. This one has always looked like that, but she's still growing, so I'm just letting her do her thing. Moving down to the next level, we have some Peperomia obtusifolia variegata cuttings that they've been in water for like six months now. I'm just keeping them there. I think it looks kind of nice just letting them do its thing. I also have some string of hearts and string of pearls cuttings propagating back there and that's just some more moss that I'm growing. Moving down to the next shelf we have the mother plant peperomia of the cuttings from the previous shelf. We have a little tiny cute enjoy pothos back there. And another Hoya, I think it's a Hoya Kentiana, but honestly, I'm not sure. <laughs> and then all the way at the bottom, I'm just propagating some more cuttings. We have some Monstera Adansonii cuttings, Satin Pothos cuttings, and Philodendron Brazil cuttings, which are looking a little sad right now, but there are some roots growing. This is the fertilizer that I'm currently using this spring. I don't fertilize all my plants, so I just have a basic, balanced, all-purpose 
fertilizer and my plants seem to really love it, so I'm happy with it. I'm just fertilizing a few plants today, so basically everything you see here and plus just a couple more off screen, like that little philodendron brazil I had on a moss pole, it's difficult to move, so I'll just water it where it is. There is my beautiful string of hearts that has grown so much in the past few months. I'm such a proud plant parent right now. And that brings me to the end of our tour. So I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, subscribe, comment, do all three, do just one. Whatever you do, it would really help me out because my channel is very new. And remember, I've included links in the description to all the plants that I mentioned today, as well as the supplies that I mentioned. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and have a great day.